The force is strong with this one. I'm ditching the grid. Dave's gonna unnecessarily b me and the most badass welding helmet in the world. Plus more in this action-packed episode of Geek Beat. I'm John P. Begin. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. Okay, now that you've seen it, how can I start with anything other than my awesome new welding helmet from Save Face? With a PH, by the way. This bad boy was hand-painted by an artist just for me, and it features an auto-darkening shade, so you can see through it in normal light, but as soon as you start welding, it changes to protect your eye holes so they don't burn out like the awesome flames painted on the outside. Safe Face also makes a bunch of other head protection like extreme activity face shields and goggles and non-custom painted helmets. Callie even got a hot robot chick custom painted grinding shield. So if you want one of your own, head over to saveface.com. Remember, face is spelled with a P-H, not an F, kind of like my fiery welding helmet. See how I did that, Dave? That's brilliant. As some of you may recall, the last couple of weeks, Callie and I were in Japan. That's where I got my pig riding t-shirt. We also saw a lot of awesome stuff, but we're still processing photos and videos, so we'll bring you a special report next week of what went down in Japan. However, there will be some awesome architecture, terrible destruction, and hot chicks. Meanwhile, let's talk about what the future holds for us. First of all, next week, Ken and I are heading to Las Vegas for NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters. That's the big show for vendors who want to sell us stuff to produce Geek Beat. So we're not planning on doing a lot of coverage there, but if anyone's interested in that kind of stuff, let me know and we might at least do some short videos or uploads to Google+. But seriously, you gotta let me know because it takes time and effort and unless a bunch of you want to hear about cameras and green screens and live streaming and stuff like that, I'm not gonna do it. Next up, at the end of the month, Callie and I are coming to New York City. Yeah, can you believe they still let me in there, Dave? Uh, no. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be hanging out with our friends from Mobile Nations. They're mobilenations.com, and we're working on some super secret stuff, but we're also going to schedule a meetup. So if you're in NYC, keep an eye out for that. Finally, next month, we're going to be doing something really crazy. There's a trade show called the National Restaurant Association's Show and International Wine, Spirits, and Beer Event. Say that three times fast. I can't. It's in Chicago, and we're, we were invited to go by our friends over at Long Range Systems, who are like three minutes from here. They're just like right down the road. So if you didn't understand what I was telling you, it's a show about food, drinks, and beer. I'll be doing some hard-hitting journalism for that show for sure. Have you ever been sitting around looking at something awesome and thought, I wish I knew how to do that? Well, guess what? You just need to remember lynda.com from now on when that happens. lynda.com has over 77,000 videos created by folks who really know their stuff. What do you want to learn? Photography lighting, 3D modeling, and Google's free SketchUp app, iPhone tips and tricks, Photoshop 6, web design, social media marketing, welding, Okay, they won't teach you how to weld, but they do have over 1,600 other topics and you can access all of them for 25 bucks a month, unlimited. You can get a week free right now by going to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. Don't forget, it's a Linda with a Y, not Linda with an I, which is my mother's name. Although if you go to lynda.com, it'll still direct you to lynda.com. Just don't forget the Y anyway. That's your lesson of the day. Guess what? What? Yesterday afternoon, I signed a $30,000 contract to have a 10,000 watt solar array installed on the roof of our house. No kidding. So over the next six to eight weeks, as we go through the massive installation of 39 solar panels, I'm gonna be giving you guys updates and tell you what I've learned about trying to take our house off the grid. Just in the researching process and buying a loan, I learned a ton and I'm gonna share it with you all just in case any of you ever have a thought about doing it too. But let me get a little further along so I've got something meaty to share with you, and then I'll load you up with info. For this last segment, you may want to hold onto your seat because I've got a dirty story to tell you about Callie. 
<laughs> and she's listening to this right now. Nice. <laughs> All right, a little while back, Callie and I went to New York City and we were walking down this really dark street when I saw this hot woman <laughs> this guy and she was loud. Needless to say, I was staring and I couldn't take my eyes off what was going on. Callie smacked me around and told me to stop <laughs> So I said <laughs> then you better take me to get some she looked at me like she was shocked or something, but she did it anyway. So we were at this place and I'm like, mmm, that looks good. Give me some of that and and I want extra sauce. And the guy looked at Callie and he was like, the for some extra sauce too? I was like, of course, she loves So we walked over and and the guy comes gives Callie her <laughs> and yeah, he gave me some too. But Callie grabs a <laughs> and all the <laughs> It was a delicious mess, I'm telling you. Good times. Okay, enough storytelling for one day. If you guys want more unnecessary bleeping, you gotta let me know on Twitter, at John Pose. Until next week, goodbye. Blau, blau. <laughs> Luke, this is your father speaking. Fat man in a little coat. <laughs> Richard, who's your favorite little rascal? Is it Alfalfa? All right, a little while back, Callie and I went to New York City and we were walking down this really dark street when I saw this hot woman talking to this guy. And she was loud. Needless to say, I was staring and I couldn't take my eyes off what was going on. Callie smacked me around and told me to stop staring. So I said, fine, then you better take me to get some pizza. She looked at me like she was shocked or something, but she did it anyway. So we were at this pizza place and I'm like, mmm, that looks good. Give me some of that pepperoni and sausage. And I want extra sauce. And the guy looked at Callie and he was like, would the pretty lady care for some extra sauce too? I was like, of course, she loves the sauce. So we walked over and sit down. And the guy comes over and gives Callie her pizza. And yeah, he gave me some too. But Callie grabs a hold of it and all the toppings slide right down her shirt. It was a delicious mess, I'm telling you. Good times.